the Saddle King Hard here, and I'm doing my review on Lion. Lion is the eighth, eighth major release of Mac OS X. Let's, let's get started. There's a bunch of new features I want to talk about, and we'll talk about some of them. So, first of all, we're going to talk about, about this Mac. That is totally brand new. They've, they've uh, changed some of the window things, you know, like some like, little buttons. Not as much as Aqua Wii anymore. Let's open up more info. And you guys can tell that it's all brand new. We got overview about it, the displays, information, storage, audio, movies, photos, apps, backups, other memory, which is probably the coolest part. It shows you how much RAM you can you can have maximum and how much you can have installed. I have eight gigs. Support, you know, Mac with some resources, Macintosh resources, and service if you need to get it to service. That's that. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the Finder. And there actually is a new view you can look at. So just right click this. You go by label. And then you get this whole kind of cover flowish thing, but it's like scrolling. By the way, Lion is multi touch. So that's pretty cool. Next thing I want to talk about is. Launchpad, and that's just a simple way to, to launch applications like the iPad. You know, it's like a way of browsing stuff like an iPad. Mission Control, another cool thing. Okay, so Mission Control. <clears throat> So this is Mission Control. It is like a it's expose and spaces combined into one. So I'll open up a few pages. We got Mission Control, and then we got two windows of Safari, like that. So it's pretty cool. What you can basically do with this is drag this in, put a new desktop in it, and you, and drag these two. So Mesh Control is like new spaces, new way of spaces and um, XLZ combined into one. Loves, I love them both. Just amazing how you can group things into one. And the animation is pretty cool. So that was uh, Mesh Control. And you can also look at it as well. You can also show the dashboard as a space. And we can also rearrange spaces. It's pretty cool. And, how, and you, the way you get rid of a space is go to Mission Control, and you can see this right here, the little X. It's just really cool. Okay, and Mission Control is pretty cool. <clears throat> Definitely be using that a lot. Next thing I want to talk about is versions, which will allow me to save documents and uh, go back them over time. So what I can do here so like that and I, and I can go go right here revert to saved well, let me just save this revert to saved and then what we get here is a Document from as of now and right here is what I just did so we can go back in time and Look at all the documents as flown back in the past, which is really helpful That was versions Next thing I'm gonna talk about is full screen apps So let's go to Yahoo and then we can go right here That little button we guys just saw that's full screen so what you basically looking at now is a full screen app this so it's just, it's really amazing what they've done. And on Safari now, you have reading list. In late, and in iOS 5, pretty soon, we'll be able to um, sync reading lists, like articles and stuff to iOS devices. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Next thing I want to talk about
Now that you're featured in Lion, you can download with voices now. So I'll just do this, for example. So you can get new voices. Hi, my name is Tom. I am an American English voice and I am a new voice in Mac OS X Lion. And you can customize voices too, even download them. So like, I'll do this one. You can play them. Hello, my name is Serena. I am a British English voice. Bonjour, je m'appelle Félix. Je suis une voix canadienne. Hallo, ich heiße Anna und ich bin eine deutsche Stimme. And you do this, push that, push OK. Then it'll say, hey, you want to download these. That's really cool. Oh yeah, you guys also notice that the volume down there is like, a, is like uh, more like iOS. They change like little um, volume indicator things. Oh yeah, in Time Machine, you can do local backups now to your main drive. Oh, speaking of that, if you actually like like to do like letters and stuff, like just say like letter A, you like to hold stuff, and you're holding it, it's gonna basically show all that stuff now. The symbols, which is kind of a downside. And it, it does auto save too, so you don't have to worry about, um, it does auto save, so like, so like you don't have to worry about saving anymore, it does automatically. Also has the Mac App Store as well. You all know about that. Mail has some new features as well. Right there. So we can like look at this new thing. New information. Pretty cool. iCal has a new look to it. It's basically a new look. Some other new features. Photo booth I want to talk about. Go to full screen mode. And now we got this new look, like you're actually like an actual photo booth. And you got new effects too. So we can go to like, I think it's Dizzy. And now you can like look at, uh, these birds will actually just track you. Which is pretty amazing. That's a new photo booth, it's got some new effects as well. <clears throat> what else? iChat. You can also add new accounts in iChat, so you can like add a Yahoo account because you Yahoo Messenger. Oh yeah, and guys, speaking of which, your applications, some applications may not work. So if you can go right here. And uh, you got, they gotta be like Intel, Intel Universal. They're power PC, they won't work. Oh yeah, if you guys like look around the finder, there's no more space available, so now you can either go about to about this Mac, or you can just look at your Macintosh hard drive. Oh yeah, and also, you notice, you, the scroll bar, scroll bars are now invisible. They just fade away now. And you can like reflex windows. And that is pretty cool. Another few feature, new, new feature is, well it's not really a feature, but there's more, there's new desktop pictures in here. You guys can tell. A new screensaver too, actually. I haven't tried that yet. 
so we can look at uh, I think it's iTunes artwork I think I'll be able to play your music yeah I can play your music now too And they'll change by themselves. And iTunes opens up automatically. So that's pretty cool. Enough of that. Oh, what else? Better security. Don't need to look at that. There is a new login pane as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And good riddance to Snow Leopard. I'll see you guys next time.